Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at ecology and biodiversity. Specifically in part one we're going to look at ecology. Ecology being the organization of our environment and also biomes and the organisms that we find within those biomes. So let's talk about ecology first. Ecology is the study of the relationship between organisms and their environment. It's important to point out that organisms include both plants and animals, and then the environment would be the place in which these plants and animals live. So the largest environment okay, is what we call the biosphere. The biosphere is essentially the earth, the surface of the earth. In this picture right here, we have a uh, picture of the earth. Okay, The outer crust of the earth whether that is the water or the land and that lower level of the Earth's atmosphere, okay, the air, that's where we find, find all living organisms on the Earth. We call this outer shell of the Earth the biosphere, where all these organisms live. And this biosphere is then consequently divided into other sections and smaller sections, and then those sections are subdivided and so forth until we get down to the individual habitats and com uh, communities of different animals and plants. So let's continue to look at this organization. So the largest piece is what we call a biosphere. Then within that biosphere, we have biomes. And biomes, they're individual climates. They're individual communities that are classified basically according to the vegetation and then also the adaptations of that vegetation, those plants and those animals that live there. Okay, other things that go into the classification of biomes are the amount of precipitation, the temperature, okay, the, the type, type of weather that you find within that area. Okay, each biome uh, can support a specific type of organism, both plant and animal, and those organisms have specific adaptations to live there. Okay, you've got an example of the, the penguin right here, okay. The penguin lives in a very cold environment, a very cold biome, a very arctic, tundra-type biome, where it has a large uh, layer of fat, and it's got its feathers that allow it to, to keep it warm, okay? And it has feet that allow it to walk on the snow. It's designed to live in that particular climate. It has those adaptations to live in that particular climate. You've got your pigs here. Pigs are not necessarily adapted to live in an Arctic environment. They don't have that outer layer that, to protect them from the cold, okay? So they're adapted to live in their environment. Monkeys, okay? You don't find monkeys in the desert, okay? Because monkeys are not adapted to live in the desert. Monkeys are adapted to live in the rainforest where they have those trees that they can live in and swing from tree to tree. So all of these organisms, and I'm showing you animals here, but we could also include plants, are have adaptations to live in their particular environment. Okay, in their particular biome. And we don't have animals that will cross over from one biome to the next because they're not comfortable in those biomes and nor would they live there or find their food to live there. Okay, so some examples of biomes. Terrestrial biomes. Terrestrial means land. Okay, so we have terrestrial biomes. Uh, we have forest, and we can break that down into coniferous forest which are forests that have trees that lose their leaves during the winter time. Okay, leaves fall off during the fall and lose their leaves during the winter. Um, excuse me, not this coniferous, that's deciduous, deciduous forest. Coniferous forests are our uh, pine trees, large, tall pine trees with needle-like leaves. Those are coniferous forests. Deciduous forest would be our trees that lose their leaves during the winter. And then we have our rainforest, and rainforest obviously uh, has large amounts of precipitation. Then we have our grasslands, okay? Grasslands, and their, its name is indicative of what it is, primarily made up of grasses and, and small shrubs and, and bushes. We have our desert. Desert is uh, very little precipitation, okay? Lots of rocky, sandy soil. Okay, plants that are adapted to live with very little water okay, in our desert. Okay, we have our taiga, or uh, taiga, however you want to pronounce that. And that's our, uh, an area that is very similar to our coniferous forest. Okay, they can kind of go hand in hand, uh, synonymous with each other. And then we have our tundra. Our tundra is that area where the, the ground is frozen, that permafrost. The ground is frozen, so plants really can't get roots deep down into the soil because the, fr the soil's frozen. So their roots kind of spread along the top of the surface and down into the very top layers of soil that are not frozen. 
Um, you don't find large trees. You don't find large shrubs here because the roots can't get down into the soil. So you have lots of small grasses and lots of small shrubs that live there, and that consequently determines the type of animals that can live there. Uh, animals, just not any animal can live in a tundra because it doesn't have the protection that a larger forest might provide them. And then we have our aquatic biomes, or our water biomes. Uh, we have fresh water in lakes, we have salt water, and brackish water is basically the half and half, halfway between fresh water and salt water. But we can't forget about our aquatic biomes because two thirds of the planet is covered in water. And tons of life, plant and animal life both, live in these watery areas. So these are aquatic biomes. But each one of these little segments, each one of these little segments has a very specific climate and has animals and plants that are adapted to live there. Okay, and like again, you don't find these plants and animals just up and moving to another biome because they're not adapted to live in those other biomes. They can't survive in those other biomes. So they have to live in the ones that they're adapted for. All right, let's move this along. All right, so here's our levels of organization. Okay, so we talked about biosphere. Okay, and we talked about biomes. So we have uh, the largest here. We have our largest moving our way on down. So you see the, the large area of the triangle moving our way on down. So ecosystem being the largest self-sustaining collection of organisms. So we have this giant ecosystem. Within this ecosystem, we have these individual communities, okay? Organisms that live in a particular place, okay? And then we kind of get into our biomes within these communities. Then we have a population. Um, so a population being like a group of uh, elephants or a, a, a group of tigers, that's a population. And then you get down to the individual organism. So ecosystem being just the entire area, you know, you could talk about the entire state of Texas being that ecosystem and all the plants and animals that live within that ecosystem. And then we could break down the state of Texas into, let's say, Collin County which has a very a more specific type of plants and animals that live there. And then within Collin County, you have the city of Allen that has that specific population of humans or the specific population of rabbits, okay, for example. And then you have the individual organism, which is that individual, that single organism, that single rabbit, okay, for example. All right. And then lastly, let's talk about habitat versus niche. Okay, so a habitat is a place where an organism lives. It's its home. It's its little environment. And that's different for different animals. You know, if you're talking about a large grizzly bear, it might be in an entire forest versus a rabbit. A rabbit, its habitat may simply be its backyard, your backyard. Okay, your habitat is the city of Allen and where you live and specifically your home where you spend your time. That is an animal's habitat. It's that specific area that it lives in versus niche, which is an animal's job. Okay, what role does it serve in an ecosystem? Okay, is it a producer? Is it a consumer? Okay, what, how does it help out and how is its little job within that, in the, within that life sustaining ecosystem? So habitat versus niche. Okay, so this has been part one of this video. We're trying to break it down into segments. We'll get to part two next time. So in part one, we cover biomes and the different types of biomes that we have. We have our terrestrial biomes, which we have our tundra, our coniferous forest, deciduous for forest, which uh, are the trees that lose their leaves during the winter time. We also have our desert, our tropical rainforest, and um, I think I already said tundra. And then also our, our, our water biomes, okay, which are our marine biomes, our saltwater biomes, our freshwater biomes, and those brackish waters. And then we talked about the organization of our environment. And then lastly, we have habitat versus niche. Okay, a lot of that vocabulary within this. That's mostly what this is, and just trying to remember how all that vocabulary works together, and we'll continue to work on this in class.